How to use OHC COVID-19 Home Self-Testing Kit You are just minutes away from discovering your COVID-19 results. But first we have to teach you how to use our test. Keep in mind, the test procedures are different for different ages. If you're helping administer the test for someone else like a child, please conduct the test for them to make sure to take caution while doing so. Watch this video to get familiar with the testing procedure, then it's your turn. When you're ready, feel free to get started. Package Contents First, let's make sure you got everything you need. The test components include the test cassette, extraction buffer tube, filter cap, and the nasal swab. Setting up your test. The kit should be used at room temperature 15 to 30 degrees Celsius, 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. First wash your hands with soap and water, and check the expiration date on the back of the foil pouch. Open the pouch and remove the test cassette and desiccant package. Place the device on a clean flat surface. Hold up the desiccant package to the light and make sure to check there are no green beads in the package. Then, open the pouch that contains the extraction buffer tube and filter cap. And gently peel off the top seal without spilling the liquid inside the tube. Punch a hole in the box to keep the buffer tube upright, and place it in the designated hole on the box. Performing the test. Now remove the nasal swab from the packaging. Make sure that you only touch the handle of the swab, and not the soft pad on the tip. If the person being tested is 13 years or younger, an adult must collect the sample. Okay, let's collect the sample. Take a deep breath and relax. Holding the handle of the swab, gently insert the swab into the left nostril approximately 3 quarters inch. No need to make yourself feel uncomfortable here, but you have to go in deep enough to get a good sample. Then slowly rotate the swab at least 5 times for a total of 15 seconds. Make sure the swab is brushing against the inner walls of the nostril. Do not just spin it, rotate it. 15 seconds goes by faster than you think. Now gently remove the swab from the left nostril and repeat on your right nostril. Make sure you are using the same swab. With children, you must never insert the swab deeper than 3 quarters of an inch. If you want to start on your right nostril and then do your left, feel free, just make sure you do each nostril the same and don't leave any nostril behind. You're halfway there and doing a great job guys. Processing the sample. Now directly insert the swab into the extraction buffer tube. Stir the swab vigorously more than 10 times. Shake it like you mean it. Take out the swab from the tube by squeezing and applying pressure on both sides of the tube. Make sure you get all the liquid out of the swab tip. Go ahead and dispose the swab into a trash can. Now close the tube with the filter cap, nice and tight. You can help the mixing process by giving the buffer tube a little flick. Now we're going to put that mixture into the sample well. Hold and squeeze the tube in the upright position. Gently allow four drops of sample to fall into the sample well. Make sure not to drop the liquid in the rectangular result window. As soon as your sample is added, pause this video and set a timer for 15 minutes. Resume the video after 15 minutes has been passed. Do not read the results after 20 minutes. This is it. The final countdown. Do not move or lift the test device during this time. Your test will be ready to read when the timer finishes. Now follow the steps to confirm your results. Interpreting the results. If a test line T is visible together with a control line C, this means that the result is positive. Look carefully at the result, the test should be considered positive if two lines are visible, even if they are faint. If a control line C is visible, regardless of how faint it is, and a test line T is not visible, this means that the result is negative. A negative test means that the virus that causes COVID-19 was not detected in your sample. If a control line C is not visible and the test line T is visible, the result must be considered invalid. The test is not working correctly, and you should perform another test using a different test kit. Congrats and fingers crossed. Thank you for testing with OHC COVID-19 antigen self-test.